This is Ron Higgins of NOLA.com and the Times Picune. And here is this week's SEC agenda as we head into week two of Southeastern Conference football. It's chicken pot pie week. What does that mean? That means that you go to the store and you buy your non-conference game and you pop it in your home stadium and you turn up the sound and cook for three and a half hours and you got an easy victory. There's 11 non-conference games this week, eight against Division I A opponents, and then seven of those SEC teams are favored by double digits. And you have three versus Division I AA opponents, including LSU and Sam Houston. Uh, I understand why you schedule these games. I mean, this is to help your team improve after, and usually after a tough opener. But you know, here's a better idea. Why don't you have a preseason game against, say, a Division I AA team in your home state, say, maybe LSU playing at Northwestern State in Natchitoches? I mean, I think that would be a, a great deal for uh, a, a Division One AA school. I mean, to have a, a team, a major team, come to their stadium and you know charge a lower admission price, so everybody gets a chance to see. You could do this all over the SEC, uh, where uh, they would play at a One AA stadium and either an exhibition game or a controlled scrimmage. It's to get the kinks out, so maybe you wouldn't have to schedule, you know, these these chicken pot pie games and games two and three usually. Uh, on a schedule. I mean, if you look at this weekend, I mean, Alabama's a 40-point favorite over Florida Atlanta, Florida Atlantic. You know, for the longest time, I thought Florida Atlantic was a commuter airline. I didn't know it was an actual, you know, university, but it is. Uh, and you look at other scheduling early, uh, early in the season, Texas A&M just takes a bunch of bus rides. I mean, they play their next two weeks in College Station, then SMU in Dallas, and then Arkansas to Arlington. So that's a good thing. Also, uh, well, LSU is the only team in, in the SEC that opens the season with nine straight games each weekend. The Tigers are the only team the next four weeks to play at home. So we'll see if they can uh, really get it together before that tough weekends, uh, back-to-back weekends with Auburn and Florida on the road. So that's a look at this week's SEC agenda. I'm Ron Higgins. Have a great week.